Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tara. Hope everyone's well. Oh, doing August bonus readings. So far I've knocked out Taurus, Aries, and Cancer. I wonder who's going to be next. I'm letting the universe decide. Absolutely letting the universe decide. Okay. Aquarius, you're next. This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, and Venus and readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play it from the perspective of the cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table, and I appreciate you stopping by to hang out with a little old me. It gets lonely being the crazy tarot lady. It really does. <sighs> but the mission from Source can sometimes be a lonely one. Okay. Two more. While you're here, if you wouldn't mind and you'd be so inclined, if you like what you see and you haven't already done it, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Hit the like button. It all helps the channel and it is all greatly appreciated. Okay. Before I do the invocation, and throw your cards down. Two things we got to go over. I do this with every video. Just... Hear me out. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. If it's going to greatly impact your personal life with a negative outcome, don't listen to a deck of cards to make your decision. You need to go inside and sort that out for yourself. Two, if it's not your reading, if it's not your story, if it's not your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, or making sense in your life, Leave the cards on the table and walk away. You are more than welcome to take what resonates with you, but leave what does not. Don't force something to fit that's not fitting. Okay? Because that's how fights get started, and that's, how, that's what causes drama. And we try to avoid that, right? Nobody likes drama. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you and I am thankful and grateful for the gift that I've been given and I ask that you give me clarity to accurately give Aquarius the messages they need to put them on their highest possible spiritual path and bring them to their highest possible spiritual good. Aquarius, why are you here? Eight of Cups reversed. Walking away from something. Well, shoot. Okay. Mm. Star reversed, strength reversed, ten of swords. I'm only doing three cards across. It's a bonus read. I have to like angle this better so you guys can see. Just so we're we're straight and legit with what got thrown down. Okay. Walking away from something. Something you possibly weren't able to heal from in the past present energy, you can no longer hold back, whatever, just kind of letting loose. In the future, I see the end to a painful cycle and I see the sun shining again. So as painful as this is, card of truth, the sun will shine again. It's only going to suck for a minute. So just hang on to that. Okay. Universe Source Spirit Guides. Can I get the energy of the person that Aquarius is dealing with? Person or situation Aquarius is dealing with. For any additional messages that need to go out for August. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The person or situation they're dealing with.
Queen of Swords. Well, shit. Mm. Chicken egg, what came first? That's honest conversations. I don't like the looks of that sword. She can be a little brutal. She is in the upright, though. So that, that's a positive no. <sighs> Commanding and demanding truth. Oh, boy. Okay. If it hasn't gone down yet, it's about to. Two of Wands in the past. Queen of Cups in the present. Temperance reversed in the future. Oh, God. Okay. Well... Let's clarify. There's love in the present. There's, there's definitely feelings with this Queen of Cups. The past, in the past, they were at a crossroads, two of wands. Let them go of something that wasn't serving them anymore, possibly. Moving toward a positive future. You weren't able to heal from it, though. Oh, wow. Negative energy in the future. Negative energy between you. Impatience, possibly. Oh, gosh. Okay. Got this cool new deck. Throwing this out there. I have an Earth Tarot uh, by Jack Sephiro and Jamie Elford. Most prob... Okay. I'm going to say it's probably the most beautiful deck that I own. It's gorgeous. I love the imagery. Nine of Pentacles came out in the split. As well as the Princess of Cups. Might have something to do with something. Hmm. Well, if that means something, somebody wants to be independent and somebody's forever holding a cup of love for someone. Expressions, messages. All right. Let's see what comes out. Universe, source, spirit, guides. Clarity for Aquarius and the person that they're dealing with. Person or situation for the rest of August. Any additional messages for August? We need clarity, please. are playing Minecraft. Oh, sorry. Is it human fall flat? I'm sorry. Let's try to keep voices down, please. All right. Let's do the here and now before we look in the rear view mirror. Um, why is the eight of cups here for Aquarius? It's in the reverse. You're returning to something. That just hit me like a freight train right in the face. Okay, why is the Eight of Cups reversed here for Aquarius? What are they returning to? The Fool.
returning to something that you walked away from, went on a new path from, after lack of communication, eight of wands reversed. Returning to some... I'm not getting the ghost, but I'm feeling ghost. Are you returning to something you ghosted on? Death. Might have been spiritual. Could have been a Scorpio. I also got Aries. I have Sagittarius. I have Leo. Could be any of the fire signs you're dealing with Aquarius. Just throwing that out there. I also have your card in the reverse. Could be another Aquarius. A metamorphosis has occurred. It's like you were supposed to go and you were supposed to return after a period of silence. Something you jumped away from. Huh. All right, why is the Queen of Swords here for the other person? Four of Swords reverse. Restless energy. Ooh, shaking it up a bit. Is your return shaking things up? Rattling the Queen of Wands, Aria. That's hard to do. She's not easily rattled, but when she is rattled, you don't want to know what she's going to do with that sword. One more. Maybe your departure left her rattled. Star reversed. Maybe it's something she didn't heal from. She... Insert whatever pronoun you want as the energy coming off the card, okay? Just work with me here. We're going to skip the past. We're staying. We're staying in the here and now before we look in that rear view mirror. Why is the strength reversed here for Aquarius? For the here and the now, no longer able to hold back. No longer able to hold back after a period of silence. The world reversed. Unfinished business. Want to come back around. Suggle, you didn't want to close out. Give me one more. Give me one more for Aquarius. Five of Pentacles reversed. You're over the sadness. You can't hold back anymore. You want to come out of that state of sadness. One more. Temperance reversed. Maybe a little bit of impatience. Maybe a little bit of impatience. That's the second temperance reversed. Possibly some negative energy. Maybe you just want to clear the air. The air isn't clear. Maybe you feel like returning and trying to fix it will bring everybody out of a state of sadness and clear the air. But there's a lot of negative energy here. I got two upside down stars and I got two upside down temperance. Oof, Aquarius. All I got to say is oof. What kind of a hornet's nest you're stepping back into? Why is the Queen of Cups here? For the other person's here and now. Why the Queen of Cups? Ten of Swords reversed. They love you. They never got over the pain. Still haven't healed from it. The sun is still not shining in their life, but they love you. They have deep emotion. This hurt, and it still hurts. 
Dare I? Dare I? I, I think I will. Mm. I think I'm going to. Give me one more. Give me one more. Who flipped? Somebody flip? Nobody flipped. the crossing of the choppy waters. There ain't no glass river. There ain't no glass lake. There's, there's some waves there. One more. Moving away with or without. Lovers came out sideways. Being told to take it in the upright. This is a choice to be made. This is a soulmate connection. Definitely. Like, most definitely. But there's a choice to be made. Because... I think y'all put each other through the ringer. This hurt you both. They may have moved on painfully, crossed the choppy waters, went away from it, but they still love you. But this hurt and it still hurts. Rearview mirror. Why is the star reversed here for Aquarius? What happened? What happened? What happened? Card salad. Okay. Too much information. Hmm. Empress reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. King of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Oddly enough, one more. Why the Ten of Cups? Something didn't grow, a match didn't strike, some heal from something. You were happy, but you were happy. You were the King of Pentacles. Maybe you went off to find the King of Pentacles, become the King of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Cups here? It's the only card not making sense. Six Cups. Damn. For some of you, this may have had something to do with the loss of a child. I don't know. It's possible. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed here? Princess of Swords reversed. Something about news somebody doesn't want to hear. 
I'm not saying this is blocked communication. I'm saying this is something someone didn't want to hear. A match didn't strike. Something didn't take off. It may have had something to do with the loss of a child. You were happy. But the could have been something that someone couldn't heal from. Why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? Hierophant reversed strife. Arguments, fighting, divorce. If if it applies, take it. Wow. Could have been arguments over money. Could have been arguments over a family situation. There was fighting. There was strife. Someone didn't heal from something. There was love. There was definitely love. But something very painful occurred that stopped the growth of whatever this was. Why is the Two of Wands here for the other person? Why the Two of Wands? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Codependency. Chariot reversed. Someone's at the crossroads. There was codependency. The chariot stopped. Dead in the water, nothing's moving. Somebody had to let go and move on. Or someone was being pulled in two different directions. Oh my gosh, Aquarius, what the hell? Hanged man. Hung up emotional hang ups. I really think somebody was just kind of left standing there all alone. Reverse the roles if you need to. All things can and maybe vice versa. Place yourself where you see fit. Somebody, somebody got left standing there. Whoa. Sun's gonna shine again for somebody. And I don't think it's gonna shine for somebody else. Let's just move forward to the future. Why is the Ten of Swords here? For Aquarius. Pick up, dust off, move on. Sun's shining. Birds are singing. It might be crows, but the birds are singing. I always love the Nine of Wands. Kind of reminds me of the phoenix rising up out of the ashes. Strength. Strength in the upright. Strength in the upright. It takes a great deal of strength to rise up out of this. Fucking love it. Ten 
Taming the Inner Beast. Ten of Wands, releasing of the burden. Allowing the cycles to end, allowing the burden to end. Wise Temperance reverse here for the other person. Eight of Swords reversed. Coming out of the cage of their own thoughts, anyway. Seven of Cups reversed, but there's still confusion and negative energy. Could be coming out of a state of self-doubt or self-blame. Six of Wands victory. the moon, things being eliminated, finding the victory, finding the blessing. There's still negative energy here, though. I don't like that. There's still negative energy between you, and there's still confusion. But once things are illuminated, people can heal. Once they see things as they are, once the smoke clears after the battle, you can see clearly. I don't like it being left in an imbalance, though. I don't like all this negative energy and strife. I don't like it. All right, let's get some advice. King of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups reversed. You have to maintain a positive attitude and your self-worth, even though the cup got spilled. Sometimes cups just get spilled. Okay. Be honest with yourself about what you need to put your energy into and what you don't need to put your energy into, what you need to cut out of your life, because it is not abundant. That's something you have to go within and figure out. Princess of Pentacles reversed, Page of Swords reversed, Five of Cups reversed. A lot of reversals here. Until you come out of that state of sadness, until you've processed the emotions that you need to process, I wouldn't take or give any offers. And you need to be honest with people giving offers as to why, even if it's something they don't want to hear. Because that's a part of self-honesty. Just because something didn't work out, or there's a separation, okay, when these things happen, 
is because there's something better. There's other plans for you. You need to go inside and you need to walk that path. There's a light. There's a light to guide you. You will not be in the darkness. Just be assured that there's something better for you. Whoop, there's something better for you. Okay. Aquarius. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Sorry for the Betty bad news reading. But is it all bad news? If it's the message that you needed to hear. Okay, just know that you're loved. Be blessed. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. And I will catch you again next time. Hopefully, before the 31st of August, I'll be able to knock out this bonus round and all the September reads. I'm going to try like hell. But even if I don't, because life does happen to me very, very often, just know that there is always a next time. Take care.